four, I think, in this series. Um, as I've said numerous times, I'm really enjoying this game at the moment, and um, for this episode, you'll be really pleased to know that A, I have skipped the loading portion of the game, um, B, I've skipped the item management part, so you won't have to see me putting all items into all those wardrobes and stuff like that. Uh, C, I have um, turned the generator off, I remember to do that straight away this time, and D, um, as I pointed out in my last video, I noticed on playback that I very stupidly did have a lockpick on me when I didn't think I had one, and I accidentally swapped it out of my inventory for a lock, which was um, a bit ridiculous. So I've gone and picked that up, that's all sorted, I also found some extra scrap metal, um, and I'm currently standing at the north border of um, a little home, shall we say, um, and I've decided that for this playthrough um, we're going to head back to that underground entrance that we um, discovered um, a couple of videos back. Um, we found a nice kind of underground cave section that we, we didn't dare explore at the time. But now that we have weaponry, now that we have bandages, we have uh, all sorts of nice little items, we're going to head up there with our lockpick and we're going to see what is in that cave. Uh, I also have that nice Molotov cocktail that I found last time, so yeah, let's uh, let's get on with this, shall we? Now, uh, let's see what am I doing? be helpful if I press the right button. Okay, into Darkwood. Here we go. So as I said, I've kind of got rid of... Oop, got all of the kind of boring, samey stuff out of the way. Uh, ready for this playthrough today. Let's just check where we are. So we're literally, we're just heading straight up from here. Uh, I think this is it. So we've got a f complete day. Um, to go through this section of the game. Let's hope that we find some interesting stuff. I've also bought a, a canister of gasoline uh, with me on this journey, just in case we end up getting stuck in this underground section uh, for the duration of the night. It'd be good to have um, be good to have some light to be able to see us through. Uh, without getting engulfed by the darkness. Right, here we go. So, I'm a little uh, anxious to <laughs> see what's going to be down in this section. It might be a really, really short section. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't know what I'm expecting. I should have bought like a flashlight or something. Uh, rubble. Let's examine this. Tunnel walls were crushed by enormous roots. So, this is rubble dig. Ah, okay, so that's what a shovel is used for. Okay, let's see if we can find a shovel around, shall we? Um, I don't know the parts that are needed to make one, sadly. A light bulb dimly lit the wet walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. Okay, battery... Motorcycle magazine? Huh, an automotive magazine. Interesting. Some wood, it's always good. I've actually got quite a lot of wood now. This may be a bit of a silly idea without a flashlight. The thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground and the tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. This could be a bit silly of us. Oh, did I bring anything with me? See, I put that lantern back in storage because I didn't think I was going to need it. I'm kind of regretting that now. Um. Darn, if I had a match, I'd be alright, but I do not. Well, let's just continue anyway. See 
what we can find in here. Whoa, what on earth was that? Wait to see if there's anything interesting there, but due to the time constraints we have, um, and also the fact that I don't have any light, I'm going to say no for now. Aha! Mushrooms. Well, if nothing else, I've managed to find that motorcycle magazine and a nice mushroom. Journal entry, underground passage. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. Look at the handle. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. Press your ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Look through the keyhole. Okay. <laughs> slightly, slightly anxious about doing this, but let's go for it. Ooh. Okay, some sort of strange light. So is it just that light through there? Okay, well, it looks like we have already come to a dead end. I was hoping to, hoping there'd be something more interest down here, but, uh, ooh. run for the door, shouldn't I? Uh, and of course... We have lost half of our items. Fantastic. However, we didn't lose our gasoline. Which is a good thing. Okay. Huh, maybe I should uh, make sure I have a flashlight before venturing into 
the dark depths next time. Okay, I can extract 12 essence from this, that's a little underwhelming. Um, okay, uh, apologies for the slight delay there. Um, my wife was actually at the other end of the room while I was recording and uh, she wanted to get by so that she could go to bed. So I let her. Um, anyway, that was, um, well, that was interesting. Uh, a little bit disappointing that we managed to lose ourselves half of our inventory. Um, I'm wondering, actually, right, well, I don't need to go back down there again now. I need to get my key back before I go back down the passageway. Um, and probably a flashlight as well. What we could do is take some of this meat with us now that we've freed up a bit of space. Uh, not in exactly the way we wanted to, mind you, but hey. Uh, oh, I've got one board left. Oh, I don't know where that went. Oh, it's right next to the the wood cutter. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Um, oh dear. Avoid the wolf. Don't want to get killed again yet. So, um, obviously we haven't got time to go through the silent wood, which is what I really would like to do next. But uh, instead, we'll go to that camp that we spotted a couple of days earlier. Oh, I meant to go on the map. Um, uh -huh, my lost inventory. In fact, let's go and pick the lost inventory up, shall we? I'm sure we can go toe to toe with that monster this time. Yeah, yeah I uh, I forgot that we could uh, go back and pick up our lost stuff. Let's uh, let's definitely make sure we do that. Because we weren't too far from the entrance. Inside the tunnels itself. Where is my stuff? Is this it just here? Ah, this is a bit irritating. I hope I don't. I hope I don't waste the rest of the day just searching for my equipment. Bit frustrating. I would expect it just to be exactly where I left my body. Um, but perhaps not. We'll have a. We'll just have one more quick look down there. Um, I'm really hoping that that monster isn't around still. these the things we lost? We definitely lost a lockpick. Don't think that's my inventory though, because I had a... Um, hmm. Mm, I don't think this is my stuff. What's that up and down arrow mean? Does that mean there's other stuff on there? Oh well. Well, even if we don't find my equipment, um, we've got some nice stuff out of whoever's equipment that belonged to. Um, ah, 
and now I can't go back and uh, now I can't go back and search uh, that spot that we we wanted to dig in. Here's my stuff. Definitely want the Molotov cocktail. Let's let's forfeit the bread, shall we? Um, how are we going to do this? Bye bye bread. I've got plenty of bread. I'll we'll have the Molotov cocktail back though. Um, yeah, so I'd say we're looking pretty good there in terms of items. We've, we've got another lockpick as well, which is great. Um, okay, okay, I think we've done a pretty good job. Um, I don't know if there's any point going to that camp now, because uh, obviously we've got our inventory stocked up. What I'll do instead, if you remember there was another crate that I found, um, a couple of nights, oh, uh, maybe it was the last night actually, there was a crate I found that was right next to my house. Um, so maybe I'll use one of the lock picks there. Okay. Okay. You know what? Maybe we'll use... Maybe we'll... Um, There we go. Oh, you know what? Bear with me a second, I'll do a little bit more inventory management. I'll be right back. Okay, all done. Um, and we've got a little bit of space in our inventory again. So let's go and find that, um, that chest. And here it is. Nice. I was hoping I'd find this nice and quickly. Right, fingers crossed this has got some good stuff in it. Uh, gasoline, always good. Batteries, still not sure what they're used for. I'm sure we'll find some kind of use for them. Matches, always useful. Oh my days. Okay. <laughs> Just stick these in. Yeah, a lot of this game revolves around inventory management and uh, making sure I've got space for more stuff. Um, we can pour some of this gasoline inside the woodcutter thing as we've uh, um, I expended most of it a minute ago. Um, so. This one. Don't like using all of the gasoline on this, but uh, we're actually finding slightly too much at the moment. Perfect. Right. Um, actually thinking about it, I took the one I had in here, didn't I? Let's let's leave this one here. Um, I will exchange it for. Oop. I'll exchange it for the meat because I can throw that to dogs. Well, let's just go and uh, we'll, we'll just go and have a little look around. I think. Um, I think we've probably got a little bit of daytime left. Let's see if we can find something interesting to. To, to let you guys see. Um, where are we on the map? So, broken tractor. We're kind of going down into this bottom corner, which I don't think we've actually looked in yet. What's this? Oop! Nice! 
Uh, this is where I kind of wish I'd got some of that antidote. Oh well. Ooh. Nope. The way is barred. Luckily those poison mushrooms aren't too strong. Ooh. Body. This poor... <laughs> probably died of starvation. Mm. Oh. We didn't actually look at it properly. Yeah, I like all of the kind of little hidden things there are kind of lying around. We're getting very close to nightfall now. Oh, what's that? A rabbit? Thankfully there aren't dangerous rabbits in this. We do not need a holy hand grenade. A little Monty Python reference for you. Is this not anything interesting? No? It's an absolutely wonderful environment. It's really, really been thought out very well. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this the... This is the dog we... Yeah, that's the one we killed a while ago. Um... We've been in there. Wasn't really anything to see. Um, it's just a case of having a little look around the house and seeing if we can find anything useful, really. Um, uh huh. It's just a nice little alcove. Just a case of kind of looking. Every little nook and cranny and seeing if we can find anything interesting. Aha! Now I do remember finding this field beforehand. I should probably be careful how long I spend. The a wedding? Yeah, the sun is going down so I should probably be fairly careful. Ooh! A combine harvester. Anything interesting here? Ooh, looks like some sort of fun fair. I th think we may have found our. found what we're going to investigate tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I really need to get back now. <laughs> when the computer is telling you to get back, you need to get back. Sad thing is, I don't actually know how far away I am. <laughs> this is quite tense. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of slightly regret going too far away. Oh no, I know where I am. It's just up here, isn't it? I think. Oh, I am slightly lost, actually. Ah no, here we are. Whew, that was uh close. But we do have a full generator for this evening. And one free canister of gas left. So uh actually we've done a pretty good job. And we uh make good use of that well today as well. Excellent. See, so this is the bit of the game, I'm not sure whether to keep showing you this bit, because obviously it's a bit kind of... I don't know whether it, it might get a little bit repetitive. I mean, obviously, if different things happen every night, and we have had kind of various different occurrences. We had that intruder on the second night. We've had the shadows. We've had that weird man who... Weird, I don't know if it was a man, it seemed to have a skull on its head. That weird thing. 
that appeared in the corner, the man on the bed, the dog that came in. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of hoping, once again, for a, a completely event-free evening, though. Ooh! Because as much as as much as it might be something useful or good, um, oh, you know what? Oh, not again! <laughs> More knocks at the door. Um, yeah, there is no way in hell I'm going to the door. No chance. something breaks through my barricades. I kind of want to go out and see what that is. <sighs> Should I risk it? Should I risk it for you guys? Oh no, it's gone. It's obviously trying to lure me out of the house and it almost worked. <sighs> There's someone out there. For all I know, they could be moving my wardrobe as well. So. See, I'm really not sure whether... Because if they move the wardrobe, they can get into this room without making much of a noise. Oh my goodness. Um, the monsters are fighting among themselves. It's amazing how well the atmosphere builds up in this game. Ooh. 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 Think we may have survived yet another night. survived an entire week in this place. Right, now, I've just gained another 100 reputation. Hmm. I'm wondering whether to see if I can buy this fabric finally. I have a lot of items now, so I can probably afford to trade like some wood, um, maybe some scrap, some of these pills. I seem to have a lot of pills and I've not used any of them. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to turn off my video recording. I'm going to do all my usual item management stuff, and then when I get ready to leave the grounds, I'll bring you guys back in again. So uh, I hope to see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm back. Right, what I've done is. First of all, I repaired this doorway, so I now have a door here. Um, it would be much better if I could repair that hole in the wall over there, but I don't think you can somehow. Um, I've traded a bunch of stuff to that trader. Uh, empty bottles, pills that I didn't need, um, and that lantern and torch that were about to expire. Um, for a sheet of fabric just here which hopefully along with this rope 
means I can upgrade my um, inventory. Um, well, hopefully the inventory size. Um, I also, if you may notice, have a unused torch just here, and I also have one in the wardrobe. Um, I decided to fashion a couple of them, so I've now actually got some light for if I find myself in a very dark situation again. Now, first of all, I figured out I need to upgrade the workshop, so I've made sure I've got um, the nails and boards necessary for that, so let's do that first. Excellent, eh? Right. Ooh! By the looks of it... Ha! Molotov cocktails, um, either made with alcohol or gasoline, and lanterns. Excellent, and... I now know what I need to build a pistol as well, which is fantastic. Cool. Um, well, uh, glass bottle. Yeah, um, I'm not going to um, bother looking at whether the trader's got what I need for the pistol for the moment. What I really want at this second in time is... Um, either the hotbar upgrade or the inventory upgrade. I'm thinking the inventory upgrade would be more useful. I'm hoping I get two spots out of it, or two slots out of it, should I say. So, um, yeah, let's go for it. Fantastic, there we go. Two more slots. Um, I would say that was very worthwhile. Okay. So... Let's just... Ooh, not mean to do that. Um, in fact, let's just put the wood back, put the nails back, and then we will continue on our journey. Um, in fact, the nails... Well, we had just enough wood on us. The nails, though, can go in here. Cool. And we've got ourselves a lockpick, torch... Some pills, malt of cocktail. We're going to travel light today, I think. Um, you know what? Now that we've got a bit of extra space, just in case. Because I, I, the thing is, I don't know what these batteries are used for. I think it might be if I get hold of a torch. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that. So. Um, yeah. I'll put the locks in here, and the rest of the wood. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit of a. Bit of a uh, <laughs> got um, bit of an obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to um, managing items and equipment in games. Okay, so I guess let's begin the day. Now, as you remember from a few moments ago, we discovered a nice little wedding venue. Apparently, um, let's just check our map. Yeah, so it's just. Move to the south east of here. Um, I guess we will just head in that direction. Ooh. <sighs> you probably noticed just then, but um, that made me jump quite a lot. I uh, didn't do too, didn't do wonders for my health bar either. <sighs> well, thanks for the scrap game, but uh. <laughs> have done with delivering it in a slightly less uh, nerve-wracking way. Um, <sighs> wow, that really did... Uh, yeah, that really did make me jump. My heart is pounding. Um, let's just have a quick look around here. Those owls are always very unnerving. I mean, even though I know that it doesn't mean that night's coming. Um, it still makes me... Think. Uh, still makes me think of night. Oh, a little bit of a, kind of a glitch going on there. Ah, hmm. oh, it's the the only glitch I've found so far in the game. So just uh, points to how well this game's made that that's like the first one that I've come across. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to know whether there's anything interesting in the corn. Anyway, let's have a little look in here, shall we? This looks like it's going to be pretty dark, so I'm glad we brought this torch along with us. That's all I can say. Okay. Let's 
stop dilly dallying and have a little look in there. Wow, this is a bit creepy, isn't it? Oh wow. Yeah, this is a very, very unsettling. You know what? This is probably a really, really good opportunity to get this torch out. Wagon decorated with colourful ribbons and flowers made of white tissue paper. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to look through here very quickly because uh, um, because my torch is running out slowly. Oh, well, I don't want my dragon table. What do I? Maybe you can find interesting things in these. Well, that was less interesting than I was hoping. Hmm, another one that I need a code for. Once again, we need another combination to get through this area. Ooh. What if the combination can be found underneath like, one of these tables? I guess we uh, just got to do a little bit more looking around then. It, it, it seems like there's a lot of combinations need to be found in this game. Um, I've got my notepad here ready for if I need to write any down. So uh, I guess we just keep looking around. Oop. This is the entrance to Silent Forest or whatever it's called. We don't want to go in there yet because um, again, we've, well, we've wasted a little bit of the day. You know what? Mm. I'm feeling adventurous. If we get killed, we can always come back and find our corpse, can't we? So, ah, okay, yeah, and then there's that combination to find as well. Lots and lots of combinations. Let's look around the back of here, shall we? Yeah. 
This place is infected with something toxic. I need to find a way of getting rid of it. Rags. I imagine I need an antidote, maybe? Oven. Okay. Wooden boards, always good. somewhere else I can turn into like a, a home eventually. It seems to have it seems to have all the things needed to make it like a base of operations. It's got an oven, it's got that gas stuff, um, it's got a generator, it's got doors. Um, yeah. Need to keep looking around, really, don't I? Where am I going to go next on my my next uh, my next playthrough of this? My next video, even. Not quite sure, because I've 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 now been to the Silent Forest entrance, and um, that's that's kind of the way's boarded up there. The wedding way is boarded up. Can't get into here yet. I guess. Hmm. I guess the best way to go is probably to head up to the old woods next. So I'll probably best to go through that campsite. Oh yeah, and then of course we've got the underground entrance, which is also um, locked at the moment. Yeah, so... Um, hmm, yeah, we've got some some big decisions to make, as Bob Ross likes to say. quite want to turn it on yet. Although now would be a good opportunity to get those flares ready. No, well, let's just stick it on. I have a couple of inventory management things. Excuse me. I have a couple of inventory man inventory management things I want to do. just before I get inside. So, I've got more gasoline, which is great. That'll be perfect for tomorrow. Some wire. Um, what else what do we want to put here? Meat. Ooh, we can only have stacks of three. Okay. Batteries can go here. And now we can lock these doors. And indeed that one. Let's um let's put some of our stuff in here. So we don't need this rope for now. Rags, got plenty of rags. Nails can go in here. Scrap metal, I've got a full stack of that now. Um Yeah, we're looking pretty good for space really. I've got one to spare as well. Now the big question is, is anything going to happen tonight that will be of interest to us? Uh, that's the question. I'm not quite sure what the answer is. Let's, uh, let's of course hope we, uh, we make it through the night again. I wonder what happens if you die inside the house, um, whether your back sack is just located where you fell, uh, in which case it would be pretty simple to um, to pick up my lost items again.
<laughs> Maybe I should just stand in front of this wardrobe so they can't move it. I've got to say, I do like these night sections. I know I said initially that I didn't, but it always seems that kind of different interesting things happen. Weird kind of figures appearing in the house, knocks on the door, eerie lights, stuff breaking through windows, weird noises. I feel a bit better about going into that room now. Um, now that um, we have another door blocking the entrance, I'm not expecting things to just be able to bust through both of them without making a noise. There is a tree hanging its branches over our rooftop. What else has been very uneventful so far? I don't believe we had the shadows come last night either. Um. Hmm. Was that me that made that noise, or was that something? walking in the house. This seems to be a, a particularly quiet night so far. Um, it's funny because night... Was it night two and three were very eventful, um, night two being the one that I died on, night three being the one that I barely escaped the shadows. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I was backed into a corner then. I accidentally walked into my own trap, which was very stupid. Um, partly because that thing that appeared in the room completely threw off my concentration. But correct me if I'm wrong, but did the evening finish again? just before I got killed. <laughs> Whew. Wow. What a great game. Um, yeah, as uh, first impressions go, or uh, uh, as first impression series go, 
this is impressing me quite a lot. Um, wow, what what a great game! I love the variety, and I mean, the fact that every single night I'm kind of spending in the same house, kind of just tiptoeing around. Um, you kind of expect each night to be fairly similar, but I don't know. Things have been pretty. Pretty, every night seems to have been pretty unique so far, let's put it that way, which is pretty cool. Um, and, wow, just such an intense game, such an intense game. Well, I think we'll leave it there again for this video. Um, we're starting to venture a little bit further afield. I want to find these combinations because I want to I want to start being able to um, um, kind of progress us through the storyline of the game a bit rather than just showing you the environment itself and I think we've pretty much we've kind of seen what the environment's like so I want to start kind of venturing further afield we need to find the, the key for the underground exit I'm, I'm assuming that's probably one of the last things we'll find um, we need the combination for the the, the wedding um, door we need the combination for the I'm forgetting all the things. Combination for the, wet, the wedding door. Combination for the door on the entrance to the Silent Forest. We need to find an antidote for the poison in the Silent Forest. And we also need to find a combination for that chest at our home. So there's a lot of things we need to find. I'm thinking we need to venture up to that camp again. Um, I'll either have to fight those two dogs or throw some meat to them or something. I'm not quite sure what at this point in time. Um... Yeah, um, and then we'll go up to the old wood, I think, and we'll have a little look up there as well. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me, if indeed you have been, and uh, I guess I'll catch you again next time. So, uh, yeah, once again, cheers.